graph of the hyperbolic tangent of x on the interval from 0 to the natural log of 7 to revolve this region about the x-axis, uh, we would want to use this method right here, pi times the typical radius squared. So that would be uh, pi times the definite integral from 0 to ln of 7, hyperbolic tangent of x, the quantity squared. But the hyperbolic tangent of x squared can be written as 1 minus hyperbolic secant of x squared. And now we can integrate term by term. The antiderivative of 1 is x. The antiderivative of se hyperbolic secant squared is hyperbolic tangent. And we want to evaluate that from 0 to the natural log of 7. So we picture putting in log of 7, ln of 7, minus hyperbolic tangent log of 7, minus, put 0 in for x, and uh, hyperbolic tangent of 0 is 0. Uh, if you have to evaluate this, uh, oh, by the way, here's a possible answer right here. Um, if I raise this screen up just a little bit, you can see that I rewrote that as ln of 7 minus 0.96 and got the same answer. If you have to evaluate the hyperbolic tangent of the log of, natural log of 7 uh, manually, uh, the definition of the hyperbolic tangent of x is this expression right here. So I put e to the natural log of 7, e to the natural log of anything is the anything. So I get 7 minus 1 7th over 7 plus 1 7th, which if I remove the uh, complex fractions, remove the little fractions by multiplying numerator and denominator by 7, ends up being 24 25ths, which indeed does reduce to 0.96. Okay, and so that's where I got this number right here. Um, expecting exact answer, that might be your exact answer. Expecting a decimal approximation, uh, that could be your answer 3.1, perhaps. Okay, there you go. Hope that helps.